There will never be anyone like Zell Miller, and he leaves an example that we need more of our political leaders to follow. George W. Bush, just one of three former U.S. presidents paying tribute to former governor and U.S. Senator Zell Miller. Zell Miller died Friday in Young Harris in the same North Georgia house where he was born 86 years ago. Now you can see where the mourners filled Peachtree Road United Methodist Church in Atlanta to honor the life of Miller. Former presidents George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, and Jimmy Carter spoke at the service. They shared their personal memories of Miller. And then Miller's body was taken to the Capitol where he's lying in state. Now that's where Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is tonight with a closer look at the ceremony honoring Zell Miller's life. Deidre? And it was a moving tribute to three former presidents, one Republican, two Democrats, united in their love, support, and mutual admiration, their respect for a man they called a dear friend. Calling Zell Miller a humble man who put service before self, former President George W. Bush spoke fondly of his dear friend and political ally. During his time in Congress, the Democratic senator supported Bush's re-election in 2004, delivering the keynote address at the Republican National Convention. We shared a belief in the importance of public education. We had a willingness to work across the political aisle, and we loved baseball. Bush joined by former presidents Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton at the pulpit during Tuesday's service. All three men shared personal relationships with the late governor and senator during his time in politics. Miller supported Clinton when he ran for president in 92. There is probably no one uh, who could speak here who feels more of a personal debt to Zell Miller than I do. I come to you in almost indentured servitude and gratitude, surely for what you and Zell did for me and our family, and to give me the chance to serve. A host of dignitaries, state lawmakers, family and friends gathered at Peachtree Road United Methodist Church for the celebration of life service, reflecting on Miller's life and legacy. I agree with, with what has been said already that one of the most wonderful public servants we've ever seen in Georgia and a good friend of mine for whom I'm deeply indebted uh, is Sel Miller. Former President Carter and Miller served as young state senators together in the 60s. Carter praised the late governor for championing support for higher education through the creation of the Hope Scholarship. Zell Miller was a great Georgian, a great public servant. Uh, he mentored a lot of uh, younger uh, public servants, politicians. Uh, I'm one of them. A steady stream of mourners paying their respects here at the Capitol this afternoon. Governor Deal will preside over tomorrow's state funeral. Reporting live from the state capitol in downtown Atlanta, I'm Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. So many memories from so many high-profile dignitaries. Deidre, thanks. As we remember Zell Miller, the biggest accomplishment he leaves behind perhaps is probably the Hope Scholarship. As governor, he was the man behind the launch of the program that provides free in-state college uh, educations. So far, more than 1.7 million students have taken advantage of the Hope Scholarship. The Hope Scholarship has provided more than $5.1 billion in financial aid. It's also increased the number of students going to college by 15 percent. That also helped colleges grow as they accept more students. We spoke to students who say they hope that, that the reason that they're getting an education is because of Zell Miller. It just relieves a lot of financial stress. Um, it's just one less thing to worry about. You have so much going on when you're in college, and I think it's really important to not have to worry about money while you're focusing on an education. When I came in, I didn't have hope, so it was very hard. Everything was really expensive, and as soon as I was able to get it, I made sure that I got it, and it has helped tremendously. Several students we spoke to told us the Hope Scholarship was a big reason they stayed in Georgia to go to college. Services for Zell Miller continue tomorrow. There will be an executive state funeral service in the rotunda of the Georgia State Capitol at 11 a.m. Governor Nathan Deal will preside over that service. Sine.